Hi, I'm Paul Blank, president here at Southern New Hampshire University. Welcome. First, let me tell you where I am today. I'm at the Wallach Library Learning Commons. This is a beautiful facility we built 10 years ago now to support the study and research that our students were doing. Um, and it's an award-winning facility, which I hope you'll get to visit someday. Why am I with you at this moment? Because we're about to kick off our spring 2023 commencement ceremonies. There are 17,000 students eligible to graduate this year. Thousands will come to Manchester and they'll walk across the stage at the SNHU Arena, and thousands more will join us through our virtual commencement ceremony. However you're joining us, we're proud. There are lots and lots of people who have supported you on your journey, and lots more who are supporting you on this wonderfully auspicious day. So let's get the ceremony started. To my fellow graduates, motivation, dedication, and commitment is what we put in to make it to this day. The day that we never thought would come is here. We made it. Today we are gathered as a diverse group of individuals, a family of students who come from all facets of life. And our books are not finished. No matter how hard this chapter has been, let the next few pages be filled with pride and accomplishment. It's up to you now. The doors that are open, the paths that you choose, everything is up to you. I invite you to see today as proof that through the sleepless nights and obstacles, you have prevailed. It always seems impossible until it's done. Once the highs of today simmer, know that life will not always be easy, but you can do anything that you put your mind to. Let us thank our families, our friends, even our endearing pets, and all their inspirations for cheering us on. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you. I've made incredible friends for life here. I thank everyone for my wonderful experiences and education, from faculty to my fellow students. I've learned so much through this community of motivated peers, committed counselors, and inspiring instructors. My SMHU experience was more than just about what my degree could do for me, but what I could do with my degree to better society. This is a challenging and changing world, and it needs us. This world needs true leaders, leaders who inspire, leaders who develop other leaders. My fellow SMHU penmen, become great leaders. If we never give up even beyond our degrees and always believe in ourselves, we can be anyone we want and realize our biggest dreams. Congratulations, class of 2023. We did it.
Good afternoon. Welcome to Southern New Hampshire University's 2023 Spring Commencement. I'm Dr. Kimberly Blanchett, Executive Director for Business Programs. With the faculty and graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's business programs, please rise if you are able. There they are. <laughs> President LeBlanc, distinguished guests, faculty and administration, families, colleagues, and friends. Oh, please do stay standing. Where's our business graduates? Please join me in welcoming our newest graduates. Our business graduates will enter more complex, dynamic, interconnected, and technology-driven organizations than the graduates before them. Through their studies at Southern New Hampshire University and their real-world experiences, these graduates have acquired the knowledge, skills, professional dispositions, and competencies necessary to operate comfortably in an uncertain and volatile global marketplace. Today, these graduates transition from being yesterday's business students to being today's business professionals and tomorrow's business leaders, innovators, and entrepreneurs. That's right. I'd like to take this time now to thank the many faculty, academic advisors, and staff who have contributed to the success of our business program students. Congratulations to the newest graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's business programs. Please be seated. Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Gloria Aquino Sosa, Executive Director of Counseling Programs. With the faculty and graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's Clinical Mental Health Counseling Program, please rise if you are able. <laughs> President LeBlanc, distinguished guests, faculty and administration, families, colleagues, friends, and advisors, please join me in welcoming the graduates of our graduate program in counseling. The mission of the Masters in Clinical Mental Health Counseling Program is to empower new generations of counselors by transforming the lives of our students and through them, the clients and communities that they will serve. To achieve this, we offer innovative, experiential counselor education, we create an inclusive learning environment, and we nurture authentic relationships. We recognize that earning a degree in counseling is more than just acquiring a base of knowledge and theories. It is about forming an identity as a healer. As mental health is discussed more openly, openly, more than ever, the world needs your gifts and talents. I would also like to thank our faculty, associate deans, academic advisors, and staff who have contributed to the success of these students. Your compassion and dedication to supporting these graduates on their journeys made all the difference in the world. Please join me in congratulating the newest graduates of SNHU's Graduate Counseling Program. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Danny Tangway, Executive Director for General Education and education programs at Southern New Hampshire University. With the faculty and graduates of SNHU's education programs, please rise if you are able. <laughs> President LeBlanc, 
I am pleased to introduce the newest graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's education programs. Our graduates will be entering a more complex, dynamic, interconnecting and demanding pre-K through education grade and higher education learning environments. Through their studies and experiences at SNHU, they are prepared to excel professionally, ready to address the diversified and ever-increasing globalized learning community needs as professionals and future leaders in education. Please allow me to thank the many faculty, deans, staff, and advisors who have contributed to our graduates' successful completion of this phase in their academic journey. Congratulations to the newest graduates of SNHU's education programs. Good afternoon and welcome to spring commencement. I heard that this would be the rowdiest group of graduates of all the ceremonies. So, yeah, yeah. So please help me prove to my team up here that that's true. Give me an S. Give me an N. Give me an H. Give me a U. What's it spell? Snoo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so welcome. We are so glad to see you all today. I'm Dr. Tony Clayton, Executive Director of Health Profession Programs. Would the faculty and graduates of SNHU's Health Professions Programs please rise if you are able. There you go, yay! <laughs> Woo! President LeBlanc, I am pleased to introduce the newest graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's Health Professions Programs. This is, includes public health, healthcare and administration, community health, public health, healthcare administration, and health sciences. Our graduates are prepared to promote a culture of health in a diverse society, ready to meet the needs and challenges of an ever-evolving healthcare system. Our graduates have acquired the knowledge, the skills, and the professional dispositions and competencies they need to succeed in their careers. Additionally, please allow me to thank the many faculty, program directors, associate deans, advisors, and staff who have contributed to the success of these learners. Your work will have a lifelong positive impact on the lives of these graduates. Congratulations to the newest graduates of SNHU's Health Professions Programs. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Carol Boschman. Executive Director of Liberal Arts Programs here at SNHU. With the faculty and graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's Liberal Arts Programs, please rise if able. <laughs> President LeBlanc, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, administration, families, and friends. It is my honor to present the students who represent the graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's liberal arts programs. The liberal arts department embraces both passion and practicality within our many diverse programs, such as communication, creative writing, digital photography, English, graphic design, history, liberal arts, and general studies. Our mission is to guide our students' exploration of the human experience to enrich their journeys as dynamic global citizens. We cultivate a passionate community that practices respect, 
collaboration, creativity, leadership, empathy, self-reflection, problem solving, and flexible and adaptive communication. Liberal arts students learn to question assumptions in the search for truth, while they imagine and work to bring about a better future in their local and global communities. Let me take a moment to thank the many faculty, deans, advisors, and staff who have contributed to the success of these learners. Thank you. And to the, yes, and to the students graduating with a program from the liberal arts program areas, we thank you and we congratulate each and every one of you on your success. Please be seated. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Peggy Moriarty-Litz, Chief Nursing Administrator. With the faculty and graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's nursing programs, please rise if able. <laughs> President LeBlanc, I would like to introduce you to the members of Southern New Hampshire University's nursing programs. Our graduates have demonstrated the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and professional competencies required to be successful within their careers. I'd like to take a moment to reflect on the contributions of these nurses in healthcare while earning their degrees. Nurses continue to be the most trusted profession. The care delivered by nurses impacts the health of individuals and our communities. Let's acknowledge and celebrate our nurses as they enter into the next phase of their career. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, the American Nurses Association has indicated the month of May as Nurses Month, with the theme of You Make a Difference. Thank you for the work you've done to help our patients and improve outcomes of the community. At this time, I'd like to thank the nursing faculty, the associate deans, directors, clinical placement staff, and advisors who have supported our graduates throughout their academic journey. Congratulations to the 2023 SNHU Nursing Program graduates. Please be seated. Hello, I'm Dr. Michelle Hill, Executive Director of Social Sciences. With the faculty and graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's Social Sciences programs, please rise if you are able. President LeBlanc, I'm pleased to introduce the newest graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's Social Sciences programs. The mission of SNHU's Social Sciences Department is to enhance learners' academic experiences within an asynchronous environment and apply evidence and competency-driven knowledge toward self, cultural, and societal improvement. We pride ourselves on providing our learners with a transformative educational experience never giving up on those who put forth the effort to achieve their academic goals. The social sciences are more important than ever during these uncertain and challenging times. Knowledge of human behavior and practical skills such as critical thinking, problem solving, emotional intelligence, research, communication, and ethical reasoning will help you, our graduates, to be change agents in your communities. The human experience is something that unites all of us, in pursuing a social sciences degree, you have followed your aspirations to serve others. To our many faculty, associate deans, advisors, and staff, thank you for all that you have done to contribute to our social sciences graduate success. Congratulations to you all, the newest graduates of SNHU's social sciences programs. Please be seated.
Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Cheryl Frederick, Executive Director of the STEM programs with the faculty and graduates of Southern New Hampshire University's Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math programs. Please rise if you're able. President LeBlanc, distinguished guests, faculty and administration, families, colleagues, and friends, please join me in welcoming the newest graduates of our STEM programs. Science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, surrounds us in daily life. Our STEM practitioners must have strong technical abilities, business expertise, a collaborative spirit, and resilient mindset to help organizations in a variety of industries to innovate products and processes. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the many faculty, staff, and advisors that helped these graduates reach the finish line today. Please join me again in congratulating the newest graduates of SNHU's graduate science, technology, engineering, and math programs. Please be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing? Isn't this a glorious day? My name is Lisa Marsh Ryerson, and I have the privilege of serving as the SNHU Provost. And it is my great, my extraordinary pleasure to welcome all of the families, your friends, faculty, and staff, and of course, our graduates who are with us here this afternoon or via live stream. We are thrilled to be celebrating spring commencement with you. And now, if you are able, I ask you to please stand, rise for the singing of our national anthem, sung this afternoon by one of our graduates, Stephanie Gaspard. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's regular the Stephanie, 
Today, we have graduates from all 50 states and U.S. territories, 51 countries, and a wide range of cultures and faith traditions. And our ceremony takes place on the ancestral lands of the Abenaki Nation in Manchester, in a city built on the backs of immigrants and working people. And it's important to remember that our success has its roots with those who came before us, including loved ones who are no longer with us. So now please join me in a moment of silence, whether in contemplation or in prayer, to honor all those we hold dear in our hearts. Thank you. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome and to introduce our platform party for this afternoon's commencement ceremony. I'll ask you to stand when I call your name or by group and remain standing and then you can help me recognize the platform party as a group. Leading this afternoon's procession was our mace bearer, Anthony Siciliano. And we are delighted to have the chair of the SNHU Board of Trustees with us, Winnie Lerner, and representatives from the academic and executive leadership teams of the university, and our alumni speaker, and our student speaker. Please join me in thanking them. Please be seated. It's also a delight to take a moment to acknowledge our longtime closed caption provider, Deborah Knapp, and our incredible sign language interpreters, Heather Geyser and Kristen Chenoweth Curdy. Thank you. And finally, it is my great honor and delight to introduce to you the president of Southern New Hampshire University, Dr. Paul LeBlanc. She didn't really have to tell you my title, did she? I mean, look at the bling, the extra stripe on the sleeve, and these brand new SNHU sneakers. I got the first pair of high tops, SNHU high tops, which you can buy now, I think, are eventually on the website. Um, it's great to be with you. Someone yesterday said, this is a, uh, they looked at this outfit, they goes, that's the big dog uniform. It's like, thank you, I like the idea, the big dog uniform. Um, and I get the pleasure of, of speaking with you for a few minutes. Um, I, I love doing this. They've given me permission, so I don't think I'm doing some offensive thing here. But I think sign language is the most beautiful form of communication. And if you look at the video, I always do this. I don't tell them what I'm going to say, and just watch how gorgeous this is. Whenever a new graduate walks across the platform, God smiles down on the universe. Unicorns run over rainbows. Whales and dolphins dance together. And in the jungle, monkeys pound the drums. My best part. Want to see it again? Monkeys pound the drums. <laughs> Thank you, you're so good to me. They let me do this every time. I try to make up new stuff. Someone asked me, um, what's your favorite part of commencement? It's a very hard question to answer because every part of it's pretty wonderful. By the way, what a great version of the national anthem. Holy cow. Um, but uh, every part of it is, is just terrific. Um, but I think among my favorite moments are actually the ones that are less visible and less public. They're the moments of conversation beforehand. We were taking selfies back there. It's the moments sort of, you know, in the runway. Sometimes it's after. It's meeting parents. It's hearing children, and in those moments, I hear amazing stories. I hear stories of perseverance and grit, degrees that were chipped away at over 10, 5, 10, 15, 20 years in some cases, and today's the day that it comes to fruition. I hear stories of, you know, when you people enrolling, life didn't stop and life got in the way in, in so many ways, good and bad, so degrees were paused and then came back, study was paused and then returned to. People who were deployed, who did military service, Yesterday we had a graduate who was making her way through the line and it was hard, right? She had trauma in her background and 
being in that line, and I watched our staff just surround her, and she walked proudly across and received her diploma and heard her name uh, sung out, as you will hear yours in just a little bit. And it was, I was thinking a little bit about this because, you know, Elisa, our academic, our university provost, presides over this ceremony as our MC in a sense, because this is the most important academic ceremony of the whole year, your graduation. And academics is very much the work of the head. But in some ways, I think this ceremony is very much a celebration of the work of the heart. That when I ask people, why did you do this hard thing? You're working full time, you've got three kids, et cetera, et cetera. They often say, well, I did it to unlock an opportunity, or to have a, you know, a job opportunity, or get paid better, take better care of my family. But almost in the same breath, they often say, I did it for my son. I did it for my daughter. I did it for my grandchild. I did it for my partner. I did it for my parents who aren't here today, but I always promised them that one day I would finish this. I did it because I had a dream of a better future in the United States, and I immigrated, and now I'm going to realize that with this degree in hand. I talked to someone yesterday who said, that 10 years ago, she and her two children were this close to being unhoused, to losing their home. And they were eating cereal every night. And then she eventually came to us, eventually got her degree, and now they are in a secure place. Her kids are going to college. She's married, remarried, she's happy. And her voice is quavering when she told me this story. Because she was describing the incredible transformational power of education. Among you today, just a couple of examples. We have Remus, who's an active duty service member who earned his degree while going through chemotherapy and raising two boys. So active duty, chemo, two kids. <laughs> He's graduating today with his wife Marlene, so they're both getting a degree together while she expects a third child. I don't even know where he found time to have a third child. Um, <laughs> then there's uh, T.A. Day, a 25-year-old firefighter from Michigan. She's a first-generation college graduate, as am I. Raise your hand if you're a first-generation college graduate. Look, at, look around this room. This is life-changing. She also has three boys. And while she was completing her degree program, she completed her EMT school and the firefighting academy. Amazing. There's Tanesha and John, high school sweethearts. Parents of three. Everyone has three kids. What is it with this group? <laughs> Parents of three who both grew up uh, together in New York. They both went to college straight out of high school. Life got in the way. Today, 20 years later, they crossed the stage together arm in arm. I mean, how great is that? <laughs> There's Eliana, who immigrated from Mexico as a child. She put her degree on hold when she became a military spouse but she was inspired to return to school after seeing so many other, we serve so many. Raise your hand if you're in the military or you're in a military family. Veterans? Yeah, lots. I mean, look around the room. No, this is the work, this is the work of the heart. This is the work of transformation. I wrote a book last year. This sounds like a shame. I won't even tell you the title because it'll sound like I'm doing an ad for my book. I did a book last year, but I spent a lot of time talking to psychologists and psychiatrists and, and people who were really doing work in hard industries, in industries of care, systems of care, whether it was healthcare or K-12 or higher education, mental health counseling, substance abuse counseling. And in every case, they said, for a life to be genuinely transformed, it can only happen in relationship to someone else. And oftentimes, for many of you, that someone else was your advisor or a faculty member or some staff person who was at your side. Often, that someone else was someone in the audience today someone who supported you. So I'm going to invite you to stand up, see if you can find them. I know it's hard in this big place, but if you can lock eyes for a moment, why don't the graduates stand up and give a round of applause to all these people who are here today to support you and cheer you on. Thank you. Now look, a little bit later, you guys have to make a promise, which is all those fathers, mothers, spouses, grandparents, kids, cousins, friends, neighbors, coworkers, when you see your graduate walk across the stage on the big screen, you're gonna make a lot of noise, a lot of noise. <laughs> I'm depending on you. <laughs>
whatever reason that drove you to SNHU, we're incredibly proud that you chose us. We're incredibly proud um, that we're part of your celebration that's a really important day. Thank you so much for being an SNHU student. At each of our ceremonies, a university committee selects a student to provide remarks. We have over 4,600 graduates participating in our virtual commencement ceremonies this spring, and I'm pleased to introduce our virtual commencement speaker, Deborah Signa, receiving her Bachelor of Science degree. Deborah. Greetings, President LeBlanc, Board of Trustees, distinguished faculty, staff, family, and friends. It is a great honor to be invited to speak with you today and a great responsibility. I never imagined I would be here proudly wearing a cap and gown, ready to accept a well-earned degree. 35 years ago, I graduated high school and took my first college class. I was working two jobs at the time, and as often happens, daily responsibilities outweighed the practicality of chasing my dream of an education. Fast forward 30 years, and my world was rocked when I was diagnosed with colon cancer. And I recognized it was time to invest in myself and convert my dream to a reality. As an older student, I was nervous that I would feel like a fish out of water, and I wondered if I could master the technology required for online learning. But from the first call with Jessica at Southern New Hampshire University, I knew I had found my place and that I really could make my dream come true. The SNHU core values of diversity, equity, and inclusion ensure there is a place for everyone. While the instructors make it a point to respect and honor our differences, helping students break down barriers and be successful. SNHU has changed my life by providing the path I needed to achieve the lifelong goal of earning a degree. I now have the education I need to embrace a career I'm passionate about and to be financially secure. More importantly, my experience at SNHU has the power to change the lives of my children and my grandchildren and is a stepping stone to making a difference in my community. Each of us here have taken a different journey to get to this point, and I believe the path to higher education is a personal one that has the power to transform each of us in a unique way. So many of us have struggled to balance family, work, and school, but we have stayed the course and utilized the wealth of resources offered by SNHU and now are graduating. The World Economic Forum has identified education as a key driver in sustainable development, economic growth, and resilient communities. With this in mind, I encourage my fellow graduates to embrace this experience, take the knowledge gained back to our communities, and serve as mentors to others as they embark on their journey towards a higher education. Each of us here are living proof that with tenacity and proper resources, Dreams can come true. Congratulations, fellow graduates. Now, before we do this, there's a little bit of legal, uh, uh, legal step we have to do. I didn't do it one year. The whole bunch of people who think they graduated from SNHU, apparently they haven't, but don't tell them that. But you will, because we're going to do this piece. And uh, uh, Lisa Ryerson is going to join me for a little bit of uh, legal procedure. We're going to get this right on your behalf. Will the class of 2023 please rise? <laughs> President LeBlanc, the candidates standing before you have successfully completed the course of studies prescribed by the faculty of Southern New Hampshire University and have fulfilled all requirements of their curricula. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Southern New Hampshire University and by the General Court of the State of New Hampshire, I hereby confer the degrees of International Master of Business Administration, Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, and Master of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, Bachelor of Arts, and Bachelor of Business Administration, and Bachelor of Science, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science, with all rights, honors and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, you are now legally graduated and we can move to the fun part.
Madhu Payoj Dadabola. Bachelor of Arts. Magna Cum Laude. Peter Marshall Aho. Master of Business Administration. Heather M. Isla. Master of Science. Sherry Bale. Bachelor of Arts. Magna Cum Laude. R. E. L. B. Bell. Bachelor of Science. Summa Cum Laude. Chloe Bigworth. Bachelor of Science. Cum Laude. Jamie Bloomfield. Associate in Science. Macy Bose. Bachelor of Arts. Summa Cum Laude. Madeline Marie Britt. Bachelor of Arts. Ma Rissa, Hay Lee, Brown. Bachelor of Arts. Ariana Mary Caruso. Bachelor of Arts. Magna Cum Laude. Kayla Marie Cherry. Master of Science. Kathleen Mary Fitzgerald Clark. Master of Arts. Michelle Louise Clark. Bachelor of Arts. Jennifer Clements. Bachelor of Arts. Summa Cum Laude. Irma Ellery Akasi. Associate in Arts. Desiree Covert. Associate in Science. Summa Cum Laude. Desiree Sean Twanit Dam Aaron. Bachelor of Science. Paige Davis. Bachelor of Arts. Summa Cum Laude. Aaron Tut Fields. Associate in Science. Jennifer Francis. Master of Science. Janice Geis. Bachelor of Arts. Cum Laude. Charles Austin Goyette. Bachelor of Science. Magna Cum Laude. Cherish Hensel Vigil. Bachelor of Arts. Mary and Elizabeth Hess. Bachelor of Arts. Summa Cum Laude. Becky Evans Huckabee. Master of Arts. Christopher Ivey. Bachelor of Science. Cum Laude. Bridget Jordan. Associate in Arts. Wilma Kimbrough. Bachelor of Arts. Paula S. Labrada. Master of Science. Donna Owens Lieben. Bachelor of Arts. Carly Lester BSRT, R. Bachelor of Science. Cum Laude. Heinrich Ewald Luba. Bachelor of Science. Cum Laude. Francisca Fakor Maynu. Bachelor of Science. E. Van Mayumi Manawatu. Master of Business Administration. Jeremy McGurn. Bachelor of Science. Magna Cum Laude. Patrick Jude McKernan. Bachelor of Science. Summa Cum Laude. Liz Elena Morales. Master of Science. Guy Mundella. Bachelor of Science. Magna Cum Laude. Rose Nichols Nowak. Associate in Arts. Lise Via L. Nolasco. Associate in Science. Carmen Consuelo Olaldi. Bachelor of Arts. Magna Cum Laude. Rebecca Overwise. 
Bachelor of Science. Carrie Jane Pitts. Bachelor of Arts. Cum Laude. Afia C. Roberts Mickey. Bachelor of Science. Amanda Christine Saran Rampergash. Bachelor of Science. Sharice Danielle Snoddy. Bachelor of Science. Evan Michael Snoddy. Bachelor of Science. Sharon Spindle. Bachelor of Arts. Summa Cum Laude. Mitchell Scott Stallins. Bachelor of Arts. Carnita Stewart. Bachelor of Arts. Magna Cum Laude. Lauren Sullivan. Bachelor of Arts. Kaylee Tykos Key. Bachelor of Arts. Natalie Ramona Uyaguari. Associate in Science. Natalie Nichols Ware. Bachelor of Arts. Summa Cum Laude. Lisa Marie Whalen. Bachelor of Science. Tamara Whitfield. Bachelor of Science. Molly Yard. Bachelor of Arts. Magna Cum Laude. Congratulations, everyone. Big round of applause for the class of 2023. Raise your hand if this is the first time you're in New Hampshire. A lot of you. You have no idea how much this makes the local restaurants happy. I'm going to eat for free for a week, thanks to you. You know, New Hampshire is a little bit like the Tijuana of the Northeast. We have, like, no helmet laws, children can buy fireworks, and we put our liquor stores on the highway. So you have a great time tonight. Just don't get in trouble, though. And if you do get into trouble, tell them you graduated from some other university, please. Um, no, we're incredibly proud, and just congratulations. It really, this is the best weekend of the year for all of us who work at Southern New Hampshire, Uni Southern New Hampshire University because we get to celebrate in your success. And now to close out the program, I want my pleasure to introduce our alumni board president, J.R. Rostano. J.R., the podium is yours. Congratulations to the newest graduates of Southern New Hampshire University. On behalf of the Alumni Board of Directors, I am honored to officially welcome you to the SNHU Alumni Association. Today, more than 215,000 SNHU alumni around the world congratulate you on your success and hope that you will be an active part of our global SNHU community. Now it's time for the traditional turning of the tassel. When you earn your associate's or bachelor's degree, you move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. Graduate students, you did this when you completed your graduate work. At this time, if you are one of our learners who has earned an associate's or bachelor's degree, I invite you to stand up to participate in the ceremonial tradition. Are you ready? It is time to move that tassel from the right to the left. Yeah. 
As you go forth today, always remember our university motto, Summa Optimaqua, in English, the greatest and the best, because indeed you are. Congratulations again.